May 18, 1980, around 8.30 a.m., a 5.2 quake rocks Mount St. Helens. A call is made. Vancouver, Vancouver, this is it. What was meant by that is that it was actually happening. Mount St. Helens was finally erupting. And indeed, in a short amount of time, that volcano did erupt. Ash fell over the area, went as far as Montana, and pyroclastic debris rained down over the area, and debris and ice as it melted choked river valleys. After the dust settled, it was clear that human lives had been lost and ecosystems had been drastically changed. And shortly after, all around could be found these lightweight, light-colored fragments of volcanic rock known as pumice. <laughs> Pumice is an igneous rock, which means it comes from, you guessed it, volcanoes. In 1980, Mount St. Helens actually erupted and reminded the U.S. West Coast that it does have active volcanoes. Fine material like ash traveled all the way to places as far as Montana, and larger debris was impacting the area as much as 17 miles from the volcano. Pumice rained down on the area, and there's now a spot on the flanks of Mount St. Helens called Pumice Plain. If you ever find yourself something that's super lightweight and makes you think, is this a fossil sponge? Well, it just might be a rock, a volcanic rock, pumice. Pumice is a volcanic rock common from the extrusions of stratovolcanoes that are full of silica-rich material. It forms during volcanic eruptions and rains down in tephrafalls and pyroclastic flows from a froth of lava that is full of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. And as it quickly solidifies, it forms this lightweight rock. How light is it? It actually floats on water. Pumice is basically a very brittle and porous variety of rhyolite, silica-rich volcanic rocks. Light-colored igneous rocks like this are made up primarily of minerals like feldspars and quartz. In the case of pumice, we're actually looking at fine volcanic glass that's primarily made of silica silica being the major component of quartz. The silica-rich composition means that if this material had instead cooled at depth rather than extruding out of a volcano, we would call it a granite. And that's why we sometimes refer to this as having granitic magma composition. On the contrary, there are darker extrusive varieties, and that includes the vesicular form, which is scoria, and a more fine-grained, heavier rock we refer to as basalt. Pumice is useful in cleaning and abrasive applications. It's used by masonaries and planters or arborists. It's even making its way into the health and beauty arena. Mm -hmm.